Our veterans' voices. There are nearly 150 national cemeteries across the United States. One of the three in Arkansas is right here in Fayetteville. K uh, Fox 24 is Jesse Pierre in studio to tell us how the community is working together to help it grow. The Veterans Memorial 5K run is in its 11th year. It's the biggest fundraiser event hosted by the Regional National Cemetery Improvement Corporation, also known as the RNCIC. The money raised will go towards buying more land to keep the National Cemetery growing. Nearly 150 people showed up to honor those who've served and those who've made the ultimate sacrifice for this country. Kenneth Sendifer, a veteran, was one of the runners. It's, it's really humbling uh, to, to see that because you want to be a, a, a part of this, but also you, you, you uh, love seeing the, uh, the families that are out here and the young people, as many young people are out here who are supporting the cause of, of expanding uh, the cemetery as well as uh, keeping the grounds. Wesley Stites, the president of the RNCIC, says the corporation aids in the expansion and improvement of the Fayetteville National Cemetery. This is the only place in the entire country where a local community has come together to keep their national cemetery open. We have, we have so many people who serve in, in our state and locally, uh, too. I think that, that uh, it's, it's a great honor to have a place for, for so many of those people to, uh, to be buried and to be remembered. The RNCIC purchased a lot over the summer, which will add over 2,000 grave sites to the cemetery. Stites says there's still plenty of work to be done. As it took more than 10 years to acquire that land, clear it, donate it, and turn it into burial spaces. So we're working to make sure that when that land is, is done with filled up, that we'll have additional space to honor the nation's promise to the country's veterans. And events like these help the organization meet its goals. Construction is underway at the new burial site, which will be ready in February of next year. In studio, I'm Jesse Pierre, Fox 24 News.